This foam kit is for our 1966 and 1967 A and B body models. And our first step will be to take our supplied muslin material, cut it up in rectangles, and attach it to our front seat top on the back side of our headrest area, along the sides and along the bottom edge. And on our front seat bottom, we'll need to attach it on our bottom edge, our front edge, and our two sides. Now to do that, you'll need some spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store. We'll first need to lay our muslin flat on a table and draw out eight rectangles, approximately 10 inches by 14 inches, along with two strips about the width and length of a ruler. And we'll explain later in the video what these pieces are used for. We will next need to cut out our eight rectangles and two strips. Before gluing, we want to make sure that we have two strips and eight of the rectangles that we discussed previously. We're going to start gluing our muslin onto the back side of our front seat top section. And what we're doing here is putting a generous amount of spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store along the sides, the bottom edge, and then we're coating both sides, the foam side and our muslin side, before we attach it to our foam. And we gently press it, the two together, gently rub it, and it should be secured. Now you'll want to repeat this process on the sides just like we did on the bottom. Now that our sides and our bottom are glued, we want to fold over the top section of the foam and glue it onto itself on the edges, creating a small pocket that we can slide over the top of our front seat top frame. One of our last steps will be to glue the muslin rectangle to the back side of our front seat top upper area. This will help secure our foam to our seat frame on all four sides. The muslin strips that we cut out earlier will be glued to our front seat top areas where the molded foam is glued together. What that will do is help hide the seam left by those two areas being glued together. So when you install your seat upholstery, you won't see any seams where the foam was glued together. We'll need to repeat the process on the opposite side. Moving on to our front seat bottom, we want to glue our muslin rectangles on the side edges, the front edge, and the back edge. This will help secure our front seat bottom foam to our front seat bottom seat springs so our foam does not move around during our seat installations.
Now that we have our pieces of muslin all glued, we'll show you what it's supposed to look like on the top, on the bottom, and on the sides. And these areas are going to wrap around our seat frame and our seat springs and give us something to anchor to that will keep our foam nice and tight. And our bottom, you can see what it looks like finished. We do the same thing on our front, our sides, and our bottom, and that will help you secure it right to the seat spring so it doesn't move. We hope this video has been very helpful for you. We'd like to thank all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors for making this possible, and we'd like to thank all of our sponsors, and most of all, we'd like to thank you. I'm Ron Halberter for Legendary Auto Interiors. We'll see you next time.